again the ghost of lost causes returns. And what have they discovered now? But... but this is my scroll. It was just a story. I wasn't there. Not with the Soul Wardens. Not when Doom closed in. And how sure about that are you? I... I remember... faces. Wardens, brothers and sisters. My second family. They left, didn't they? They left me behind. Well, to be fair, you told them to do that. I don't and, think I care yeah. for this. Remembering things that want to stay forgotten. I searched for them. I did, but it was another time. Wasted hey, time. How old are you really? <laughs> Much too old to remember how old I am. Human lives may be eternal on this island, but human memories are not. Perhaps it's how we stay sane. <laughs> I hope you too live long enough to forget. Okay, and tell us about where you searched for the Soul Wardens. Everywhere. All over Aeternum. Or was it under Aeternum? I was adamant. I remember stone and iron, chisel and shovel. Maybe the mines. Adamant mines, or maybe not. Well, sounds like a good place to start. The Adamant Mines. Where are the Adamant Mines? Oh, okay. It's over here, actually, near Monarch's Bluffs. This is also level 15, which uh, we are level 15. And like I said, I'm going to continue this until we have to uh, catch up to the level that we need to be. Can we teleport from the stone to Monarch's Bluffs, even though we haven't been there yet? That is the question, the answer to which we're going to find out right now. Because that would make things a lot easier. Otherwise, we are looking at a little bit of a hefty run. Yeah, we, we can't go there. We have to visit the settlement first in order to fast travel. Oh, yikes. Okay. Um, thinking about this. The most straightforward path we have there is actually going to be from Everfall. We can take the main road all the way down. So we should do that. We'll pick up the quest first because if it's like it has been, there's going to be at least one side quest in the area where the main quest is at. Alright, let's go back to Everfall. And we will begin the big run. At least this time we started with like some action, some story, and the run comes later in the episode. It's better than starting with a 15 minute run. Uh, I could try to plan around stuff like that and like get us into a good starting position so that we don't have to ever start with a big run. Uh, that could be something worth doing. Uh, do I want to do anything here in town? Like, do I want to chop those stone blocks? Probably. We can hit up the tannery. Okay, let's go to the tannery first. That's the kitchen. There's not really a good reason to not just do this stuff to get our skill ups. And then the stone cutting table is all the way up here.
And we should probably think about dropping some things in storage. I don't know if we have access to all storage from any storage. Yeah. It doesn't look like we do. Hmm. That should be the last of the blocks we needed for the quest that we had. Was it a faction mission? Town project? I really can't remember what it was. Side stories? Yeah, I think we have them in our storage. Um, yeah, it's back in Windsward, right? Alright, let's head out of town here. And we'll be taking this road that goes basically to the west and then southwest. Alright, let's, let's open this before I totally forget. Hatchet of the Priest, okay. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and make a camp. Otherwise, we are going to spawn back in Windsward Village. And we could do some crafting as well. I'd love to be able to make some potions, but we don't have what we need. Yeah, we need Hysop. I might try to look off-road a little bit and maybe like take an opportunity to find some mining nodes. What is this? General Crassus, I'm writing to report to you of our dismal failure in the territory known as Everfall. As promised, there are ruins here that retain some of the ancient's power. How we might harness it, however, I haven't a clue, and I don't think we'll be acquiring that knowledge anytime soon. Unfortunately, the bountiful nature of this land seems to have seduced Legatus Mycia, to the extent that she has abandoned our cause and turned utterly provincial. For years she justified our ongoing partnership with the residents of the settlement here, but it's become clear to me that she is simply making excuses for us to remain here indefinitely. Believe it or not, the people here have even elected her to be constable of the settlement, an appointment I regret to say she eagerly accepted. I have stuck around a few months, uncertain of whether it is my duty to see her punished for dereliction of duty. Even if I were so inclined, however, the locals here would thwart my attempt. Rather, I am sending this report to inform you of the situation, and I will instead journey west in the hope of joining up with the goddess Fulvius before he goes to Reekwater. I trust that either you or the gods themselves will see to it that Mycia is cursed for her betrayal. Probably doesn't go down that way. Okay, we're not going off-road over here because this is some kind of pretty decent drop. I don't really see a way back up. This turkey gets to live. We don't need it for anything. A level 7 area that we uh, don't have anything for. Can't grab those. So 
some regular old zombies in here as well. What is this guy? That's not a guy, it's a plant. <laughs> it looked like a some kind of wraith sitting down on a log from a distance. Alright, we've officially crossed the threshold into Monarch's Bluffs. And look at this. Right away, we are rewarded with a couple of rather large iron veins that we are going to take advantage of. Monarch's Bluffs is where I started in the beta. So I was grateful to not start there again on live, but it looks like there might be some abundant iron here. Unless we just got really lucky in finding this right away. This is going to take us a minute, but it's worth it. Though our camera is being really stupid, so let's try to... Well, that didn't help, did it? That's a little better. I'd love to not be, like, shaking uncontrollably while we mine this iron. Wonderful. That makes me really happy, actually. We still have a long, long, long way to go. Gotta go for the supply cache. I really need to get harvesting leveled up to at least 30 so I can get all of those, because like everything we're coming across that we can't get tends to be level 30. And yeah, there are plenty of farms I could go to if I have time. Oh, look at this. Is this iron? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, it might be really plentiful in Monarch's Bluffs. I didn't work on professions much at all during the beta, so... I don't know all the details of where we can find uh, which resource ab abundantly. But yeah, it looks like if we want iron, this is the place to be. We've also unlocked Silver Vein. See, this is the kind of farming that I wouldn't mind doing on video because this is going to allow us to actually craft gear for ourselves. Which is actually exciting to me. There's probably a lot of awesome uses for the timber and the stone blocks and stuff like that. Uh, but it's not what I'm most interested in. I want to be making... Some gear and weapons. And I want to be wearing heavy armor, so... So any rocky areas like this, I need to come and search. Uh, yeah, and other people are clearly doing the exact same thing as I am. So, we have some competition. I feel like I might be getting a little bit off track here. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah. 
We're getting a little off track. Somebody has already busted all of these open. Ah, oh, that's sad. I did want to head to town before I took on this quest. And even though we're really close to it, I think I still want to do that. No thanks. Yeah, we're basically being pulled by the road right into the questing area, but I don't really want... I also don't want to get killed by level 9 wolves, but apparently they are never going to leash. And now we have to deal with them. Just click over and over and over again till the pain stops. Uh, do we want to grab another, like, active ability from the other tree? Like, we're never going to get more active abilities going into the Crowd Crusher tree anymore. So if we want to play with any other skills, we're going to have to look somewhere else. Like, we'd have to start here with Armor Breaker. I just don't know if it's worth it. At the same time, using three skills for 60 levels is going to get incredibly boring and tedious. Uh, hitting a target with clear out grants fortify, providing a 10% defense bonus. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, we're going to go the right way here. <laughs> I am going to get the town. It is going to happen. Okay, good. I'm starting to be able to see it from a distance and identify the iron. Uh, okay. Corruption Swarmer. Definitely not cool. Not cool. Again, this is a slightly different looking enemy, but still very similar to the glowy purple skeletons we fought before, like the ones crawling on the ground. I guess when I want, like, enemy variety, like seeing some cool beasts and creatures and monsters that are not undead things would be cool to see. I mean, we're fighting like wolves and cats and stuff. That's fine. But so far it's been beasts. Like, just animals and some and forms of undead. Well, we know that if we leave him, he's never gonna leash... Did we... Did I get totally distracted and not get that iron? Yeah. Yeah, that is what happened. Willing to buy better tools. Oh no, oh no. Oh, okay, that was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to take a significant amount of damage from that fall. Yeah, our harvesting has a long way to go. Mines de Miklot? Mines de Miklot? 
My brain wanted to put the L in front of the C and call it Milcott. Not sure why. Try to look to either side of the road to make sure we're not passing up uh, easily accessible iron. I feel basically fine to, to ignore these guys. I mean, they're really low level for us, and I don't think we're going to get a lot out of fighting them, and we're right near the town, so... Okay, uh, what I want to do is find the smelting station and the blacksmith that's down in the far corner here, away from all of the quests. Maybe we'll go pick up the quest first. And we'll save our crafting stuff till the end. Now these are just going to be side quests. Uh, I'm going to pick them up and give them a look. Just because we'll be doing some main questing here. And if we can double up any of them, we'll do that. Hey, how are things? I hear hate to say it, but Gomes is right. We need to be finding allies. I got an idea. It's a lip so... Survivalist Lee is okay. Over yep, we know who he is. He's got an obsession with fashion. Er, okay. Clothes, yeah, we heard that too. Know. I know, right? But bring him some ancient textiles. Hey, are you the one I've been hearing about? I don't know. I could yes, be. Yes, you must be. They say you've been quite a help, and I was like, well, well I haven't I helped anybody help here yet. But then, yes, honey. Honey so delicious it's called devil's honey. It Collect honeycombs. All right. Like, to be honest, most of the writing in the side quest isn't incredibly interesting, so I'm giving them a look. But yeah, I'm not too interested in getting into the nitty gritty of all the side quests because we probably won't do all of them. Monarch's Bluffs is a special place. A place where anyone can feel sick. Yes, it's civilized understand. at least. And that's why we have to protect this settlement, whatever it takes. We've had a bit of a misunderstanding with the settlement in Windsworth. Uh, what happened? There's a brooch, an heirloom of sorts. We, we, we had agreed to give it to them as a gesture of goodwill. But the courier carrying the brooch was waylaid by the withered. Got it. Exactly. Oh, I hoped you'd volunteer. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and head down to the blacksmithing and smelting area. I don't think we'll be able to make anything useful right away, but at least we'll get to leveling it up a little bit. We can make 58 uh, iron bars here. Iron ingots. And what else can we do? What are we making a charcoal out of? Just wood? Okay. Yeah, I feel like we just have to start making this kind of stuff to get our skill ups, right? Is there like anything we can make just like a lot of? Not really. We're missing cloth for this. Can we make some cloth? Because I'd love to start making armor. 
Uh, I guess we'd have to head over to the loom. I have no idea what it takes to make cloth. Are, should we be killing sheep or something? Uh, yeah, we need fibers. From hemp plants. So, yeah, we're not going to be making any armor right now. Which is a little bit sad, but at least I know what to go for now. From hemp plants. Okay, sure. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, I wonder if that means, like, reeds and stuff that we find out in the wilderness, possibly. But, yeah, see, look at this. We do have a side quest here in the same... Well, this is the Adamant Mine, and this is the Mines de Miklot. Okay. We'll probably be able to do... We'll have to do two different trips, because, yeah, these are actually not connected at all. We have to go down here and in for the main quest, and we have to go up here for the side quest. So, we're going to prioritize the main questing, and then we're going to hold off on any side quest until we actually have to gain some levels. That being said, this would be a good place to do some side quest and some faction board stuff. Because now we know we can get iron here. And so that's going to be huge for us. We also know to be looking out for hemp plants to make cloth for our armor. So that's, uh, that's big as well. Uh, yeah, this has been a good one. I'm glad we finally got into some mining. We're going to take a break here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and for choosing to spend your time here in a tournament with me. I really do appreciate all the support does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back on a turnum sometime soon. Bye now.